And from our KSNT News Capitol Bureau tonight, unemployment benefits in Kansas are up in the air as the governor plans to meet with business officials to discuss whether the state will keep the increased federal payments in the coming days. KSNT News Capitol Bureau reporter Rebecca Chung joins us live to break down the ongoing debate. Rebecca. The governor is planning to meet with the Kansas Chamber of Commerce. We don't have a set date on when that meeting will take place, but the conversation is sure to stir controversy among business owners in the state and unemployed Kansans in desperate need of help. We've seen uh, particularly hard hit in the restaurant and hospitality sector. Some retailers have been impacted. Small business officials in Kansas seeing a record number of labor shortages in the state. According to a recent job report from the Small Business Association, 44% of small business owners are having a hard time filling jobs. And business leader Dan Murray says that number is alarming. That 44% number is 22 points higher than our 48-year historical average on that report. Now Murray and several other Kansas businesses are calling on the governor to end increased federal unemployment employment payments, meaning putting an end to the $300 weekly boost in the latest relief package. If Kansans are getting paid more to stay at home than to return back to work, we're going to have a hard time getting the Kansas economy going again. But some people are relying on those payments to get through hard times, and thousands still waiting on payments from other federal programs. Some legal experts like Marilyn Harp, who spent 40 years working with people struggling with unemployment claims, says it's an ongoing issue. We've certainly seen a huge number of people coming to us about unemployment benefits. And Harp says many factors can make it hard for people to return to work. And some of those people were dealing with kids and school situations and those kinds of things. Both sides agreeing that something needs to be done. The federal supplemental payment is not the only thing keeping folks on the sidelines, but it's certainly a piece to the puzzle. The new American Rescue Plan extends these federal benefit programs until September 4th of this year. At least 22 states have decided to end some of these programs early. Live at the Capitol, I'm Rebecca Chung. All right, thank you, Rebecca, for that.